Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add finger movements to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Pretty much, it's just like watching Gorilla Tag. If you hold down any of the grip buttons or anything, or these buttons up here, your fingers will move. Now for this to work, you need to follow my Photon tutorial, link in the description. This was made by MazVR, so shout out to him. Package to this will be my Discord server, link in the description, and it'll be in a Google Drive link, also link in the description. Like and subscribe, and yeah, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in our project. To start off, download the file from any of the two options, and drag it into Unity, or you can right click go to import package custom package then just double click on it and then just click all at the bottom left and click import and it should import two scripts now once again make sure you have photon vr imported or this will not work but then just find the scripts they might be in your scripts folder they're called xr hand controller and xr hand l then what you want to do Go to resources, go to Photon VR, and go to your Photon VR player. And you want to make sure that your model's fingers are rigged. So, for example, here, as you can see, my fingers can move, and then, you know, they can move even more, and then even further as you can see here so make sure that your fingers are able to do that and that you rig them so once you've done that you want to click on your hand now this is the hand that has all your fingers under so you see on this hand here mine's called wrist right it has all these fingers underneath it so this is mine now we're going to start off with your right hand so on your right hand you're going to drag on the xr hand controller make sure it's the xr hand controller not the xr hand l and then here where it says hand type just select right and then for view click this circle here and double click on player and now we're going to do the same for the left hand so click on your left hand here but this time drag on the xr hand l script for hand type keep it at left and for view once again click the circle and double click on player now that we added the scripts on the hands we're going to make the actual animations so what you might want to do is make an animations folder so right click create folder and i'm just going to call it animations you don't have to do this but i'm just going to do this for the sake of it so what we're going to do we're going to start off with the right hand so go to your right hand for me it's wrist right go to your right hand and then go to the top here where it says window click on window and then in animation go to animation and then for you will probably pop up here and then here just click create and you're going to call this right hand animations and then just click save so now you have right hand animations here then you're going to go here to where it says right hand animations click on that and click create new clip and then type in pose one make sure that has no spaces no capitals pose one exactly like this and then just click save now for pose one you're going to click this record button here the red one and then go all the way to the end not past here but all the way to where it says 60 here now what you're going to do pose one is the pointer finger so go to your pointer finger and then rotate this as much as you want so for me i'm just going to do something like this and then when you're done what you want to do just click this here now as you can see this is the full range of motion. Now we're pretty much going to do the same thing for the other fingers. So click on pose one here, click create new clip, and then type in pose two. Once again, exactly like that and click save. Now click the record button, go to 60 frames. And now pose two is the pinky finger or the grip finger. Now you can just move that, you know, do whatever. And then click the record button again. Now you can see that's the full range of motion that it can go. And now we're going to do the same thing. So click that click create new clip do pose three and click save record 60 frames and pose three is the thumb here so for the thumb just you know animate the thumb however you want to animate it and then stop and then there we go there's a thumb so now we're done with those now we need to do the left hand so we're going to go over to wrist l or your left hand so once you click on it go here click create and now we're going to type in left hand animations click save now we're going to do this click create new clip instead of pose one two three we're going to start off with pose four exactly like this and click save and now record go to the 60 frame mark and now pose four is the pointer finger once again so just animate that however you want to animate it click the record button again and to stop it and there we go of course you can be more precise with your animations i'm just doing this for a tutorial now click this go to create new clip and pose five and click save record 60 frames now pose five is the pinky or middle finger or grip finger or whatever you want to call it and once you got that just click the record button again and as you can see this whole thing is good and now pose five and then create a new clip 
and then post six. This is the last one that we're gonna do. So save and then record, go to the end and then just animate it however you wanna animate it and then record button to stop, there we go. Now that we have those, we're gonna go back to our project here. And as you can see, all our animations saved in the animations folder. If it didn't just find where it was, it likely saved to the last folder you had open. So if you had your scripts folder open, it might've saved to your scripts folder. But just find wherever your animation saved before we do all the harder stuff. On all of these, you don't have to do it on these cause you can't, but on all of these ones that are like the triangles, you're gonna go up here to loop time and turn off loop time. So on all of these, go to them and turn off loop time, just like I'm doing right now. As you can see on these two, you can't cause those are animator controllers. So now I'm just gonna save just to make sure that everything's good so far. Okay, now what we're gonna do, you're gonna click on wrist right, or your right hand or whatever your right hand is called. Go up here to window, go to animation and go to animator. Now something like this should open up. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna highlight all of these, all the poses and the orange one, right hand animations, and just click delete or right click and delete. Go here to parameters, go to the plus and create three new floats. So one float, two float, three float. And on this float, just click on it and you're gonna call it pose one, just like we did before and do the same thing. Pose two, do the same thing, pose three. Now keep in mind, right hand is pose one, two, three, left hand is pose four, five, six. So just don't get it mixed up. And then here in this space here, just right click, go to create state and then from new blend tree. Now click on this blend tree here and double click on it and then click on this right here. And then here where it says blend type changes from 1d to direct and then here on motion click the plus and you're gonna add three motion fields so one two three now here on parameter make one of them pose one one of them pose two and one of them pose three and then for pose one you're gonna drag in your pose one animation here just like that for pose two drag in your pose two animation for pose three drag in your pose three animation and now what you're gonna do go here on this and slide all of these up to one Pretty much it makes it so you can have the full range of motion. Just make sure all of those are on one and make sure everything is good like this. And now we're pretty much gonna do the same thing for the left hand. Go to wrist left or your left hand or whatever it's called. And then here, once again, delete pose four, five, six and the left hand animation. So delete that. Then under parameters, add three new floats. And once again, instead of calling these one, two, three, call these pose four, pose five and pose six. So now that we have that, once again, right click, create state from new blend tree. Double click on that, click on that, blend type, direct, add three motion fields. And then here, drag and pose four there, pose five there, and pose six there. And just drag those all the way up. But now we're not done. These will give us finger animations, but these will not make them network. So to make them networked, go to your scene here, click on one of your hands. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start with the left hand. Click add components and search for photon animator view and click on that. Now here where it says synchronize layer weights, keep that on disabled and then synchronize parameters. Put all of those from disabled to discrete. So make all of those discrete. So it should be disabled, discrete, discrete, discrete. And then do the same thing for wrist right or your right hand. So I'm gonna add a photon animator view disabled discrete discrete and discrete now there'll be networks now one more thing that we need to do this next part you don't have to do it but i would recommend doing it under your model here under your model right click and create empty and call this networked fingers and then click add components and search for photon view so this is a normal photon view keep it how it is and boom there we go that's how you add network finger animations to your real tech fan game comment down below what tutorials you want because chances are i can make them once again you need to follow my photon vr tutorial for this to work and the scripts for this will be in a unity package it'll be in my discord server and it will be in the google drive link in the description so you can just download those join my discord server link in the description if you need any help or if something doesn't work for you or if you just want to be part of my awesome community please consider Consider becoming a channel member it's only two dollars a month and you get a bunch of awesome perks including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like the people on the screen right now anyways like and subscribe it helps me out so much and yeah guys that's it for me today peace